I have heard how Christians long ago were brought before a tyrant's throne. They were told that he would spare their lives if they would renounce the name. A great angelic wise I can almost hear their voices ring. Okay, so we're just get gathering everybody inside um, and we're just going to open up in prayer to honor this really, really special evening. Uh, let me just uh, get a, a view of who was with us yesterday. Last night, yesterday evening. Yes. Was it an amazing time? Yes. Absolutely. So we had a, a really blessed time in the presence of the Lord. Uh, a lot was imparted into us. And I'm sure that the graduates, you have great meat as well from the sessions that you had. Um, so... Uh, okay, um, can we, could we please stand and uh, open in prayer? Uh, let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise, honor, and glory for there is none like you. Lord, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord. Lord God, you are the one who instituted marriage and you are the one who has, gathered us here, who has gathered us here today, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we dedicate Father God and bring before your throne, Father God, this meeting in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We pray, Father God, that your will will be done in this meeting in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, as we embark, Father God, on the kingdom conference, Father God, to find out the heart of heaven, Father God, on marriage, we thank you, Lord, that every heart father god will be open to receive father god wisdom and instruction from you holy spirit we invite you in this place we ask you to take over and take control we thank you lord god for your blessing upon each and every marriage that is represented here in the mighty name of jesus lord we lift up our speakers before you lord god we thank you that they speak from the throne room of heaven lord god and that we receive a word in season during this time in the mighty name of jesus christ we have prayed amen, amen. Um, so, just to introduce uh, us, we are, uh, I'm Tabo and this is my wife, my lovely wife, Mpumi Motabi. Um, we have been married for nine years on the 26th of March. Yes. Um, so, it has been um, a fun-filled journey. We have learned a lot from marriage. Um, and, um, yeah, would you like to share maybe anything that you've learned from, from being married? Sure. There's a lot that I've learned from being married. And I think one of the key things is to die to self. That is a big thing that I've learned from being married. Um, and also to not take things so seriously because my husband is really not a serious type of guy. So that's what I've learned from being married. Okay. We are together forever. We've been existing since 2006. Um, we are based in the U.S., and we basically travel from country to country. So in, to some extent, we are nomads. We move around, we train, we have fun, and then we connect. Those are three things we do. Train, have fun, connect. Connect with people, train people, impact people. And then um, we have fun in the midst of it. We came in on Wednesday night. We're leaving tomorrow night. So that, that's how... Basically, we thought the whole of Thursday, Friday, today, we had a class this morning, and then this having fun, and tomorrow morning we'll have a meeting, and then we hop into the airplane and go to the next place. So God has called us to help to heal marriages and families. Uh, from day one, we... We wish, personally, I wish I knew this, because I, I, I have like three degrees in law. If I knew this, I wouldn't have wasted my time going to study law. My wife is also a lawyer, so, but God 
called us and we're using whatever we learn there to impact people. We train marriage mentors. We kind of cancel young people who are getting married, who write a lot of resources. But our resources are unique in the sense that they are customized to our people. A lot of things out there are not relevant. They are good, but they don't always solve our problems in marriage because of cultural differences. So our resources do that. Today we are going to be graduating quite a few people. Uh, a round of applause for them. A round of applause for those who are wearing some black thing. And I thank you for joining me. You're welcome. <laughs> so if, you are wear, if you're not wearing anything, a black hood, please another round of applause to those who are wearing it. <laughs> They've earned it. They were here all the, all the Thursday. And, and even at that, we had to demonstrate, role play, learn, ask questions, answer questions, and do all that. So today we're going to be honoring them. So this is not just about wig and gown. This is about commissioning an army for the Lord. This is about setting some people out there to go and help us keep our families together. So we are going to be doing that. When we pray for them, please pray from the bottom of your heart. The, the work that they are about to engage in is not an easy job. Uh, so we, they need all the prayers they can get. But they also need your support. Uh, let's support them. Let's acknowledge them. Uh, other than that, honey, do you have any other thing to say? You didn't hear me. Well, yeah, I didn't hear you a whole lot. But okay. I just want to tell everyone, welcome. Could you please do me a favor? Just high five the person sitting next to you and said, you made, say you made it. High five, high five, high five, high five. You made it, we made it, we made it. Wow. You know? This is the day we've been waiting for. For the past 365 days. Okay? If you follow me on Facebook, I have so, so talked about this program like... God knows what. But you know, Johannesburg, they're very strange people. Y'all are strange. Y'all are so nicely strange. They're looking at me like, do don't do squeeze do your face. Do you, you know, do do now? very strange. I mean, I was thinking about it this afternoon and I'm like, wow, what did we just do? We came here for two or three purposes in mind when we landed here. The purpose was... On, on Thursday to train marriage mentors. And then on Friday, relationship symposium, right? And then on Saturday, we were going to rest, catch a site or two in Johannesburg, see what the city looks like. But we had a group of 12 people that held us by the waist and said, no, you have to do another class for us on Saturday morning. Those are the ones wearing the blue cape. These guys are phenomenal. I mean, it was like, you know what it taught me? Somebody who's willing to glean and grab and take all you got. We're empty. After tonight, we're empty. Johannesburg got it all. And we love you. We've never seen such a desire about relationship, about family, about the... You know, because family is about the society you know that right when the family is good the church is good pastor am I, am I talking when the church is good the society is good so we want to say kudos to all of y'all wearing the cap i don't have mine yet i would have just duffed it for you all right mm -hmm. and i just somebody give a clap to my my general you got to clap for this guy the general because the general has worked over time. And somebody just stretch your hands and say, Holy Spirit, feel him afresh. Yes. 
You, because you, after you this the general to work. After this man worked and worked, this after at the end of this afternoon, you guys went to your various homes. I had to deal with this general. As soon as he got to the hotel room, he had a general snap, a nap, a general nap. The man was napping and snoring the general way. <laughs> and nobody told me to, you know what? Just leave this man alone. Somebody in the hotel was asking me to go and ask my husband something. I said, me, my husband, you're kidding. And nobody can pull him where he is now because the man needs to rest and refresh. So, general, sir, I salute you. Okay? Yeah, because he did a lot of work, you know? And we are so glad we're here. Please, we want you to do us a favor. It's all about fun. It's not any formalistic anything. We just want to have fun. Yes. One thing I want to ask you is please get to know someone you never knew before. Johannesburg, we're going to take pictures. We're announcing a group of people who are willing to go an extra mile. These people are not perfect in marriage. No. We are not perfect. But somehow God has given us a little bit of revelation about this business. And we're willing to share it. And these men and women are willing to share what God has given to them to Johannesburg. And we just love you guys. We love you. So please sit tight. Make yourself at home. Some things are going to be unfolding. They're wearing their gown very soon. They're going to throw these gowns away and get on the dance floor. And we will do some things tonight. Okay? So somebody just, just, just do like this. I mean, like, just relax. You know, tell your devil, just relax. Relax. We're just here for a good time. All right? You're all welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so you've been officially welcomed. So you can take off your jackets now, put up your feet, you know, relax. You are at home. Um, we're going to have a fun program. We're going to have... Um, we want you guys, please, just to have fun with us. Now, just, just relax. So we want, we're just going to survey the room and see who's who here. Now. We want to find out are there any single people in this room? Can you can you raise your hands? Okay, welcome, welcome, single people. Let's give a round of applause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Can I just interrupt that one before you go? Can I just get the ladies to stand and let's just see how amazing you look tonight? Because I know it took forever to get ready, ne? Yeah, yeah. Can we see under the gowns what's happening? Sorry, just for like two seconds. How amazing is that? You know, yesterday we were talking about shapes, ne? <laughs> Guys, please, would can you please give, give him an amazing round of applause? Absolutely beautiful. And we've got some ama amazing prizes for uh, the reddest people in the room and all of that. So it's going to be a very fun evening. Okay, thanks. You can okay, so, and anybody who's been married for a year and under? Woo! Yes. Uh, how long have you guys been married for? One month. Wow. Yeah. Talk about honeymoon phase, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anybody two years and under, excluding, of course, the one-year people. Anybody two years and under? You guys. Well, how long have you guys been married for? When? Let me be your hero. Beautiful. And we're gonna congratulations. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay. Five years and under? Five years? Five years? Sure, we've got some veterans near, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten years and under? Anybody who's been married between six and ten years? Yes. Yes. Oh, us two. Us two. Eight years. Yeah, you just confirm with her. <laughs> Anybody else? Six and ten years? April 14th, how many years? Six years. Wow. Well done, well done. <laughs> Congratulations. Between 11 and 15. Okay, maybe we should just go home now, Tavo. <laughs> so, you know, when you, when you go to networking meetings, you always network up, ne? Yes. You know, so now you see if you've been married one, one month, you go to the two-year people. Two year, you go yes. to the five-year people. Five, you go to the, you know, yes. we are going to the 15-year people. Anybody 16 and yeah. 20? And how long have you married for? 
17 years. And they are very happily married. <laughs> 17 good years. Amen. Amen. You know, one of the things that one of the ladies was married for 44 years, was it? 46. 46 years. Yesterday, she said that the key is to actually keep saying, my love, my love, my love. You don't say, hey, die ding. Die ding. <laughs> You know, she was saying that generally couples start by saying, Oh, lovey, sweetie, hey, honey. And then five years later, die, dang it, no, 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 no. And she's saying, No, you must keep saying, My love, my love, even when you're reprimanding, but my love, you shouldn't do that, my love. And I'm taking that one because it's coming from a 46 year old married person. I mean, experience. really, like that's serious experience. 20 to 30 or 21 to 30. Wow. How, how long has it been? 22. 22 years. And do you have a secret you'd like to share? <laughs> you, you're keeping it to yourself. We must suffer. For our, we must find out on our own what 22 years is like. <laughs> oh. Processing. Still processing. Keep processing. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and how long have you been married for me? 28 years. 28 years. That is beautiful. And, and do, do you want to share a secret? Do you have a secret you'd like to share? Of, of how to do it for 28 years? Listen, Listen to each to other. Each other. Okay. Listen to each other. Um, and you know, the one thing that I'm noting with the people that have been married for longer, not that the less are not smiling, but it, they're so happy. There's like smiles on every one of their faces. And I don't know whether it's experience at pretending around these things or, or what it is. But whatever it is, you've got it really good. They seem so happy. We, we want some of that happiness rubbing off on us, please. Like, honey, we are going out smile now. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay so um, I'd, I'd like to share something I've learned from being married. I told you I'm going for nine years. Ne? So you, you guys listen to me, you guys. Huh? <laughs> Um, what I've learned, I, I, I really learned about the law of relativity. You know, it's, it's Einstein's law, no? Relativity. You don't know, it was Newton's law. Einstein. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, you know, um, about relativity, and I learned it, we went um, to Kenya, no, to Zanzibar, and we went scuba diving. And we spent an hour underwater, 60 minutes underwater. And it felt like two minutes. That's how fun it was. You know, it was you go, you see everything, you, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, 60 minutes and it feels like two minutes. It was, it was beautiful. And I realized that every time we disagree, you know, like five minutes feels like a day. You know, that's, that's the law of relativity. You know, when you're going through pain, it feels like it's forever. When you're having a good time, it feels like it's very short, you know. And that really made me understand why and 60 minutes of making love could feel like two minutes because it's really 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 good <laughs> hey man thank you brother <laughs> as we shoo him away <laughs> amen amen that is my blessed husband please give me a round of applause thank you thank you thank you Bicalo, Louis. Pumlanin Duli. Could the graduates please remain uh, with us? Pumlanin Duli.
We have an abundance of graduates. This is beautiful. God is doing an amazing thing in Johannesburg. Amen. Okay, I think we can curve by the wall there if there isn't enough space. Okay. Charity P. Nuba. Lloyd Zulu. Norman M. Pule. Sandy Pile. I apologize. I apologize to Pastor Mutlana that uh, I didn't call you with your wife. This is a very prestigious moment. Please bear with us. Pastor Sichaba Mutlana. Now, Pastor, Pastor and his wife have done this course, and I'm sure your congregation is going to be super blessed for, with what you're going to impart to them. Oliswa Peza Msengana And again I think I separated you from your spouse how terrible is that Happiness Lamini Mahadi Tedu Oli Promise Nyembe God said in His Word. How encouraging is it to see only married for a month and already equipping herself with skills. This is amazing. Beautiful. Holy come. Could we call uh, Tendani Tedu please to the stage Lord, as well? Apostle Chris O. Azik.
Jim Nkopodi Mapale. Togozani Shabalala. Can I call to the stage Claudia Summary, please? Yes! Pastor Achi, you mean Rachel? We save the best for last. <laughs> so our sincere apologies for the couples where we didn't call you with your spouse. Um, for the pictures, please ensure that you are together. Okay. And I have pasta. Glory to God for the mighty work is done in Johannesburg. Amen. Wow. So what I'd like for us to do is this. If you are advanced, a master mentor on the blue, please, I want you on the side. And then if you got the marriage mentors, Please, I want you on the side. And there's a purpose for that. And we can do that really, really quickly, please. So we can, you know, uh, go. These guys have worked so, so hard. And I, I, I can't believe it. Some of us have been with us up to, what, 20 hours in the past three days. I mean, like, it's almost like they, we moved into with each other. And uh, this is awesome. I, I do also want to introduce to you all the uh, faculty members of uh, the Institute for Family and Marriage uh, Affairs. It's called TIMFA. And TIMFA is a recognized United States uh, Institute. And we figured that just instead of just going and just doing a one hour two hour seminar we need to get people trained and equipped with structure on how to do business as far as uh, mentorship is concerned and these are the ones that have already taken you know the advanced classes who even if we're not here they can stand and teach these classes. I mean, this is how experienced and how knowledgeable they are. And I want to introduce to us uh, Pastor Ray. Everybody, congratulations to him. And Pastor Gwen Peter C. All right. And this is Tabo Mosabi. And his lovely wife, Mpumi Mosabi. And our lovely sister Toyin Ajibade. All right. We are so glad. And at this point, we're so excited. These ones that you see here with the blue cape, they went the extra mile. These are the guys. These are the guys that said, you know what? It's not enough that we get the basic information. We need to get the advanced information and actually they are the ones that have been with us for how many hours since thursday you know we've been doing this we've been in the trenches together and that's why i'm excited on their behalf 
for all the achievements that they have achieved this weekend. And these ones next year are going to join us in the advance. You know, the beautiful thing about this course is some of these people are not even like married. That is, that is the most beautiful thing. What is the best gift you can give to your child, your niece, your nephew, the young ones? We're hoping that next year when we hold this, as you bring out the younger generation. We will instruct them. That's the best gift you can give to anyone is to come and learn. And so next year, guys, we're doing it together. All right. Congratulations. At this point, I'm going to hand over the microphone to my husband for the charge. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, I really, first of all, we want to congratulate you, as my wife said. God has called you. What we have done is to give you some tools to work with. Ultimately, you would have to depend on the one that called you. You would have to depend on the Holy Spirit. A counselor is one that thinks on his or her faith. We can't do it on our own if we don't have God behind us. Because the things you would hear in sessions are things you may never have heard before. And yet you are expected to be calm and to be provide that calming rapport and not be alarmed. These two, three days that we have been, you've been equipped. Brethren, these ones have been trained to deal with individuals, to deal with couples. And at the advanced level, we deal more with systems. We deal more with consultation and supervision. So they've been trained to come to your church and look at your committees, marriage ministry committee, and say, this is what we need to do to be effective. They've been trained to help not just churches, but corporations, organizations, so, and that's what you have gotten in the last two days. I want you to know that it made some, you may think you're not there, but God has put you there. And because God puts you there, he never sends us out without being behind us. He said, I will never leave you. So, what do we do even for after 20 years of doing this, I, we never start canceling without praying. And, th and that's what I charge you to do. And not just praying at the session, but praying before the session. And if I were you, I would also pray after the session. You don't want to take things from the session to your house. You want to leave it there and go home whole. But I charge you, we came here as a helping hand. What did I say today? I said that as a mentor, you're a helping hand. You're an instrument to bring happiness, to bring direction, to bring focus, to bring, to suit people's pain. Sometimes someone was asking me today, when do you get to a point where you tell a couple it's over? You hope you never get there. But there are situations that we are pushed to actually say, move on for the sake of your life. And it's a difficult, I hope when you make that decision, you do it with God behind you, thinking about your obligation and responsibility not just before man but before God because ultimately that's who we work for we are working for God and God will be behind us God bless you we hope that some years to come that some of us here would hold the microphone as I'm doing and commissioning 30 40 50 people to go out and do the same thing. 
God bless you. God bless you. But we are going to pray for you. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Please, if you have your heart, can we take it off? We still do that. For the guys. Girls, you're good, I guess. Girls, you're good. Let us pray. Let's pray. And then you repeat after me. You say, Father, you are the one that has called me. I have taken a step of faith in answering your call. Today I ask for your grace. Today I ask for your special anointing. Today I ask for your provision. Strengthen me as I go out there. Father, use me to the maximum. Use me to suit pains. Use me to bring, to bring joy. Use me to prepare those who are going into marriage. Use me to keep families together. Father, I'm here. I'm your battle ass. Use me. Use me. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people say, Amen. Amen. Ooh, these things are hot. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let me um, I'm cutting you guys. I'm cutting you. I don't know, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Everybody's there now. Can you get everybody? Everybody's there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everybody say anointing. Together. Please, can I, you do me a favor, ma'am? I need, I need that anointing again. Sorry, ma'am. Count us down. Anointing. 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 Uh -huh. One again. Anointing. anointing. Again. Anointing. Go. I need to speak to Charlotte. I need to see you, Charlotte. I need to tell you, Charlotte.
And, you know, with Jesus' joy, and you can clap, leave your cutleries for a minute, we want to introduce two of a great kind. I'm just meeting uh, the pastor himself, but the pastor misses, the PW, I've had to uh, fellowship with, and they're a very wonderful couple. And up to the stage, we welcome Pastor Te Pastors Teboho and uh, Deborah Maluzi. I'm so sorry, I know I messed it up. Hi. Oh, Lord. Forgive me. Hallelujah. We, we need to lay hands on my wife for butchering that name. <laughs> Pastor, Apostle, you lay hands on her after we're done yes. <laughs> so she can pronounce it right. Yes. But Pastor, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, ladies first. Ladies first. Okay, to Dr. Vic and Mama me, um, we, we want to say thank you so much. We really appreciate this wonderful time that you've given us. Uh, I must say we are, we are humbled. Last year we tried to be together, but it was not possible. And God willingly, we are here today. To all pastors, pastors' wives in our churches, our beloved um, guests, I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am together with my husband. Yes, as you heard that we are doing eight years together. You can just imagine doing eight years. It's nip up and flace. Yeah, when a person says doing eight years now, you know that. Same man, same face, same smile, same anger, same joy, same gladness, same, same everything. When I sleep, he see, I see the same face. When I wake up, when I go to the ladies' room, when I come back, same person. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, um, we are grateful to be here once again to our hosts, uh, Dr. Vic and our sister May. Uh, Reverend, we are grateful uh, for an opportunity such as this. We also greet all the pastors that are here, the um, uh, special people. We're honored to see you graduating, and it's wonderful just to experience what you are doing here in forever uh, together. And we are grateful that we are here today. And uh, we are glad that we are here to come and share briefly from uh, our hearts and uh, what the Lord has given us and also showed us as we are talking about abundance and satisfied life in um, marriage and also in a family. And uh, I, 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 I believe that even for the singles as well, will also be blessed. Marriage is a journey. It seems like yesterday, the couple that was standing here, the one who was talking about the law of relativity, I think uh, he said something very powerful to say good things, they, they, it, they seem like very short. So it's the same thing. Um, it's like yesterday when I got married to this wonderful woman, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, and uh, it's, it's amazing that we are nearly to 30 years, and uh, the good thing is that we're still uh, young, and we're still enjoying our lives. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I just want to find out from her because you know when I got married to her we were living in a shack two rooms also I, 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 I was staying there for six years and I when I got married with her 
And she was there, and from there we moved to the hostel, you know, in a very, very poor area in Zimtlope where we started the, our ministry there. And she never complained. And we moved back to the location in Diploof, and we stayed there for, we stayed in the shack for two years, and then stayed in hostel, yes. In the hostel, we stayed for 13 years, right inside the hostel. And then we moved to Deep Loof. We stayed for 10 years. And then we just moved uh, three years, four years now into an estate. So I just want to know um, why... <laughs> What makes you, you know, uh, not to complain and you seem very satisfied. I remember we had our first baby in a shack and you were always smiling. So let's take it from there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what a tricky question. Um, you know, when, when, when we pray uh, for for our partners, I, I believe that the Lord gives you your heart desire. And I believe that God gave him his heart desire. Uh, one of the things that made me not to complain, even today I don't complain, um, despite that we, we have in friends, family friends who are rich, who have big houses, and I was living in a shack, and I was living in Zimtlope, but one thing that made me not to complain, I want to believe, is that um, the peace that we had in our, in our home, he, he gave me peace. He gave me love. I mean, as a woman, you want love, you want peace. You don't want fights, you want clothes, you want makeup. And then he, he will always provide for that. So I was, I, was, I was content. I was happy with what I had. And above that... Um, I was happy with what God has given me because I prayed and I told God what I wanted, actually. I'm not sure about others, but I said, Lord, give me a husband who is handsome. So anyone who proposed me and was not handsome, I said, no, you are not the one. <laughs> and then I said, Lord, give me a, a husband who has a vision. So I could see because when he says, a sheik, or mkuku, Bahais is not like mkuku, you know. It was a beautiful, wow, beautiful, excellent check. I could see that this man has a vision. I could see that I'm going to land in, in, in an estate. I could see, I could see that there is something here, Deborah. So peace was there, love was there, joy was there, happiness was there. And that is why I never, ever, and this, that is the truth, I never even compared him with any other person to say, People are living in their homes, and, and I'm in a shack, so, yeah. As to the question, and you answer it so correctly, and I want to, to tell you that I appreciate. Thank you very much. I didn't know, yeah, up until today. <laughs> well, the word abundance, um, how will you explain I know that we can look into dictionaries, but uh, uh, the word ad, ad abundance and to be satisfied, how do you define it in our journey? Okay, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. T. I call him Mr. T in front of people. I don't call him by his name. Um, <laughs> at church, I call him Pastor Murudi. At home, when I want to scream and... I call him when he's far. I say, Mr. T, instead of saying Te Buho, Amen. So when we speak about abundance, you're speaking about having a uh, plentiful. When you speak about satisfied, it has to do with happiness. It has to do with gladness. It has to do with being content. So in our context, is that is that having ab abundantly satisfied. We we having. Uh, that happiness that you cannot count, you cannot even measure. Amen. Wonderful. Yeah, you know, um, I remember when I, 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 I used to, when I used to work in a corporate uh, uh, place, 
I used to wish that five o'clock should come so that I can go home because the, in that shack it was very warm. And I want to say to women that are married, always make your home warm. You know, make sure that when uh, your man comes, there's tea or soup or something. Make sure that things are really ready. Even though with time, you know, after we got married, she, she changed a bit because um, she used to uh, prepare and put water for me, warm water and soap. And so I said, wow, I'm in heaven. And then after, I think, four months or so, and um, I think she was, it was when she began to experience because she got pregnant not so long after we, we got married, and she got tired and so on, and then she stopped. And I thought, you know, um, heaven is over. <laughs> but it, 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 it was wonderful until... We had to learn together and learn from there. Marriage, it's a, it's a union of husband and wife. And when we talk about families, we talk about the, the extended uh, people that includes children and other people who will be staying in one roof within uh, that compound or household. And we want to say that satisfaction as she she put it and also abundance it's more about living a happy life and also living a life um, of prosperity prosperity i mean you know um having things without um s struggling to get them i believe that god give us grace as his children to have things that we need without struggle. And also we should not feel guilty when we are, we are wealthy. As much as we don't feel guilty when we are poor, we should not feel guilty when we are rich and wealthy. Because in Deuteronomy 8, verses 18, the Lord says, I give you power to... to, to to produce wealth. And um, also in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, it says that the blessings of the Lord make it rich. So we should not shy and be ashamed to be rich. And with time, gradually, I've seen the Lord blessing us abundantly. I mean, really abundantly. And I'm not saying it with pride or anything, but we have come to the point where I will say when coming to basic needs, we don't lack. God has blessed us. And it's possible to live in a life when you don't even pray to, you know, to God for money, for anything in terms of the harm, because the Lord helps us. But there's a key in that. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. And uh, I think with us, when I got married with her, I was very clear, even when I spoke to her, I said, I am looking for a woman that will understand my vision, will support what God has called me. And she was there supporting me and our focus was to serve God to do everything for God and let me tell you God did the rest and he's still doing the rest even now amen thank you so much uh, you know one thing that I have learned uh, in this journey is that for for you or for us whether single married or as a family, to live with this happiness, with this overflowing happiness, there are some things that we need to observe. Because um, if we, we don't observe some of the things, you might find that you are married, but hell came while you are still on earth. Not because hell came, but it's because of we, 
we, we, we, we sometimes neglect some of the things. For example, we, we know that each and every company or each and every home or each and every country has principles. And if you don't uh, obey those principles or observe those principles, one way or the other, you will crash. Even in marriage, if we don't observe the principles, principles that are there, 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 there's a possibility that somebody might not even understand how did you come this far? How did you manage to be 28 years together? It's because you're observing some of the principles of marriage. For an example, let me just do um, an example. When, when we do counseling, premarital counseling, I usually hear young ladies saying, I, I, I used to live my life and I want him to allow me to live my life. But you need to know that when you get married, you, you, you leave some of the things out. There are some things that we, we are not supposed to do because you are married. There are th- As a single person, it's, it's, it's nice because you, you, you just do things. You don't have to ask somebody. If you want to go and sleep over somewhere, you just do that. But it's not like that when you are married. So we need to know that. We need to... To, to, to respect each other. For you to be in abundant love or happiness, respect is the key. We are not equal. Amen? I know that there are those who believe in 50-50. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I believe that there is hierarchy in the family. There is men, there's a woman, abantuana, just like that. Amen. Yeah. Um. The issue of order, it's very important that the man is the captain and he's the captain of the sheep. And uh, the Bible says, wives, submit, submission. It's a key. Now, I know normally when we talk about submission, people say, here he goes. He's talking about oppression. Submission is two words. Sub and mission. So meaning that the woman become submission, meaning supporting the mission from behind. Are we, are we together? Then it means the woman comes into the home as uh, intelligence. She does, she comes in as an operator in intelligence. She operates from behind and operate things from where no one can see, but the structure is very powerful. Like foundation. Foundation, you can't see it, but it's the one that is holding the home, the, the building, and it's holding the home. So the woman is like a foundation, like a sub a supporting structure of a home. The Bible says a noble woman builds a house. It doesn't say a man builds a house. It's a woman who builds the house. It's this woman who has built my house. So when you submit, you are not being inferior, but you are taking your position where you are supporting from behind, from under, in a position where The enemy might not see you, but you see the enemy and you are giving reports. In our ministry, most of the time, my wife normally, she has those, I call them uh, uh, navigator sensors. She will normally come to me and say, I don't trust that woman. And, and, and I don't like that. Who is that woman? And I know that she's now going into a position of being submission. She's supporting the mission. And I say, why? She says, uh, sometimes she doesn't say much, but I can see the expression that she's sensing something. And I've seen that women are given that power and ability to see things from far. And as men, we need to listen, because if we don't listen, we don't see, we can go into trouble. We can give women a hand of 
praise for that. Amen. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you you protect what you love. Yeah, you 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 have jealousy on what you love. Uh, but at the same time, what what I've learned um, is that we are both called, we are both pastors, ordained pastors. But one thing that made us to be happy together, even in the ministry, because we are uh, full both of us, is that I know that who comes first in the ministry. So there's no there's no competition. When they ask, when people come and ask who's the pastor of the church, I don't even stand. He stands alone. So that makes us to be together and to understand each other. Let me just add that. Yeah, I think we are clear. We had to agree that I am the pastor. I, you, you, you are assisting me in this area. So there's no competition. And as a pastor, when I'm away, she's there, she's working, she's doing her way. And she has her own strength. She's a very good administrator. She does a lot of things and so on. And I do apostolic work. In most of the time, in the 18 branches that we are doing, and also um, I'm, I'm busy with 220 uh, Baptist churches that I'm busy with. She's busy working in the church, and she's making the church to work. And I'm, 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 I'm really appreciating that, that she's not competing. She does not have the spirit of Jezebel or the, the spirit of vasty, you know, because sometimes women can, can, can have the spirit of vasty where they want to do their own thing there within. And one thing about what I've seen is that we agree on that. When she does her thing, I do my thing, but we know our position, which is good. And I also want to add on the issue of uh, being content with what we have. You know, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13 from verses 5, the Bible says there, you know, um, the love of, it speaks about the, the love of money. But it says, don't have the love of money, but trust in the Lord, for I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Normally we use that verse for... Um, maybe for faith or for other things, but it speaks basically for a family, that God has committed himself to a family. If people or a couple trust him, that God will take care of the family. There is power to generate wealth and security. I normally tell people, if you are single, you, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are working hard and you are battling and so on. But once you get married, you know, the Bible says one can chase what? A thousand. But two chase, not two thousand, but ten thousand. So the power is like it, it, it doubles and multiplies and increases. So it is important not to compare yourself with other people. We have never compared ourselves with people. We have never been under peer pressure. In fact, we have realized that the more you, you put yourself around people, that will put pressure around you. You'd rather be away from them because you are not going to live your own life. It's better to live a life that you are comfortable with, the life that you can, rather than just living a life because you want to please people. You know, there was a time when I didn't have a car and we will take taxis to go to church and it was not a problem. We never complained. And uh, time came to move and to move and we never complained. Even today we don't compare ourselves to anybody because we don't owe anybody, anyone except love. I think, as, thank you so much. As you're going to our conclusion is that one thing that I've learned in life is that uh, you, we, we should not do things to please other people, especially as women. It's, it's easy for us to be trapped. Um, you want things that you cannot afford. 
Um, one, one thing that the Lord has given me, the grace that God has given me, is to look at his strength. And I would say my husband will never, ever afford that. Therefore, I'm not going to have it unless God's willingly. You, you understand me? So one, one of the things that takes a, a, away joy, whether a single, whether as married people, whether as a family, is when we compare. Um, I, I've, I've seen other, other men, uh, uh, pastor, will do dishes, they will iron, they will do what in their homes. And one thing that I said to myself, I'm not going to compare this man with my husband. I'm going to look at his uh, strength. He's not the man who will wash dishes unless I ask him. No. I think maybe since we were married twice or, or three times in 28 years, the other time I was happy, the doctor said to me, don't touch water for three days. I was said, oh, thank you, doctor. And I said, doctor, call, call my husband because he won't understand this. And I said, doctor, actually, you should, you're not supposed to say three days. You're supposed to say six days at least. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing that I've, I've realized that he's good when if I can give him spinach you know spinach if I want, to, I want him to buy me uh, some shoes I just give him spinach oh my word as he's eating spinach and I would say manipulation. I know it's not manipulation <laughs> it's, know, it's knowing it's, that's wisdom mommy. it's knowing your husband and I said oh okay he does not want to give me money I'm going to cook spinach. Then as he eats, and he said, no, no, go and buy them. Go and buy them. <laughs> but one thing that I, the main, main thing that I want to say is that you look at the strength of your husband and you accept and appreciate that. You don't have to compare him with any other person or your children or your family. Thank you. Amen. I also don't compare her with any other woman and also with any other status of the current contemporary issues. For example, she's earning her money. I have, don't have interest whatsoever how, where she's spending the money, except as we have agreed this is what you'll pay, the rest you'll see. Because I did, when I married her, I did not expect her to work. I told myself I'm a man, I'm a provider, I'm a... I'll, I'll be the one who protects and take care of the family. So even in that area, I don't expect anything, just like she does not expect me to wash dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to cook, I know how to do dishes and whatever, but it's not my strength. And it's not something that I do with joy. When I do it, <laughs> When I do it, I do it, it's a sacrifice. And they know it's a very, it's a serious sacrifice. It's a serious one. But I also want to say to the single people, find your passion, find your gift. Live to fulfill your purpose in God. Because the kingdom of God and doing what is right is what will elevate you, it's what will fulfill you, it's what will make your life abundant. There are things that we don't necessarily to, need to pray for them, but God will take care of our needs if we do what he has called us to do. There are things I don't pray for them. Actually, the way I see it, in the kingdom is that we don't necessarily need to pray for our primary needs. Things like food, things like houses, even cars. Because God knows we need those things. He'll provide them. We just need to, to know as a couple, as a family, what we need to do. And also, as parents, we are given a mandate to raise our children to, to become Godly children who will change the world for a better. And we need to teach them by examples. I've learned that it's all about example. Our daughter now, she's 26 years, she's doing MBA. 
and God has blessed her so much. The other time I said to her, where is the guy? I don't see any guy because we had an agreement, me with her. And I said, you can only bring a guy once you have a degree. And she brought a degree and she exceeded. She brought a, 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 an honors and then from there she's going for MBA. And I said to her, now, where is the guy? She said, Papa, I'm not interested for now. I'm building my life. And I'm focused. And she's loving the Lord. I said, wow, that is great. The other one is studying uh, now psychology. And we are grateful that our influence is also going to children. So it's important that to, to teach by example. We can be good preachers on the pulpit, but we need to be good preachers in our own families which is something very, very great. And I'm grateful, and I thank God that at least now, as young as we are, we can start a life, you know, and uh, as the children grow, they, they've grown, and we are enjoying our life now. And uh, I thank God for you that you're still looking good. I can still... <laughs> And that's great. And thank you very much for giving us time to talk and to communicate. I believe that as we serve the Lord, the Lord will strengthen us. If you ask us, you know, how do, did we make it? We just see the grace of God in our lives by accepting and being real and being humble with life. The way life is, we take it as it is as it comes, and the Lord has been merciful to us. Thank you so much, Apostle. I think that is a good conclusion. Thank you. Somebody said, wow. Seasoned. Seasoned. Marriage is what you do, not what you say. Do we know that? And when you see a couple that are able to expose themselves to you. That is a couple that is secured in themselves. So we can talk all we want when it comes to the doing. That's where the rubber meets the road. We want to say a great big thank you. In fact, I need to give the general, sir, the microphone. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Abundantly satisfied. When I proposed to my wife, you had a shack. I had nothing. <laughs> In fact, my proposal was, honey, uh, he, she wasn't honey then. I said, sister. sister. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at me. Everything that you see is Victor Incorporated. That's all I got. My suit, my shirt. Because we were in college then. But I had a vision. And once I saw her, I wasn't going to do the boyfriend-girlfriend thing. She was a Christian. She wasn't open to it. So I said, we might as well begin to agree on this so that we can go to the next thing. And I made that proposal with everything that I had standing. But today we have more. And what is the lesson? It's not about money. Vision is greater than money. Mm. And she saw that. And he defined what he wanted in life. I need someone who can help me go where I'm going. So she wanted to go somewhere, and they're here today. So we really thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. I want you to help us with the cake and um, the focus. Would you join us? Mm. Let's manufacture some vocabulary too. I pledge allegiance to the land with all my strength, with all I am, I will seek to honor his commands. I pledge allegiance to
long ago were brought before a tyrant's throne. They were told that he would spare their lives. Okay, we're spelling Jesus. All right, J E S U S. Praise God. Amen. And finally, finally, we really want to say thank you. Thank you, um, Apostle and Apostles. <laughs> you have to be. So we can't say thank you enough. We don't even know how to say thank you. But you're here today. But Silva. Is that Sia Banga? Don't mess with me. <laughs> okay. Before you say something that is not thank you. <laughs> uh, we wanted to give you this so that at least you, you have this and remember the day you, you're with us. Okay. So we read. Together forever presents to... Apostle T and Rev D Mulazi, what a privilege to have you give of your invaluable wisdom, knowledge, and deep insight. We appreciate and celebrate the gift of God that you are. This 24th day of March, 2018, from Together Forever. Everybody has eaten. DJ, are you here in the house? Can we move the cake? And I think we can do a round of a dance. Or before we go to do the dance, uh, we have a representative from, from the class, from the 2018 class, who would like to give an address, please. Good evening to everyone in the wonderful name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This mic feel nice. I feel like starting to preach. <laughs> Let me not do it. <laughs> Thank you. We, uh, I'm standing here on behalf of the class of 2018. Uh, it's been an honor to be part of the marriage mentor and relationship, relationship coaching program for class of 2018. It's been an honor to us. Oh, can I introduce myself first? <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm Sichaba Motlana, a, a pastor in Kingdom Seekers Assembly. Uh, I'm here with my, the most wonderful woman in this room. If you can. Hallelujah. It happens to be my wife. Amen. We are truly humbled by the deposit of God upon the founders of this great initiative, uh, Dr. Vic Victor and Rev. May Victor. May I say, Tim Victor rocks. May that which the Lord has proposed with your lives come to fulfillment. May the Lord enlarge your territory and bless the work of your hands. May every clay or wood which you touch be turned into gold. We came to this training from different walks of life. And it is amazing that we all received some sort of enlightenment, encouragement, and empowerment. 
the regalia and the certification which we were here for are really not the outcome of the impartation you had. The real outcome will be realized by those whom the enemy thought it was over with their marriages. Those who were counted as defeated. Watch the space as each and every one of us rescues one marriage at a time as we start shining the light in every darkened corner we are truly grateful for the opportunity we received and we commit ourselves to use everything we learned for the glory of the lord in marriages amen that was wonderful um thank you for the word pastor i i really enjoyed that um have we all grown this, this evening? We're going to go home different. The, the, the Word of God says He follows His Word with signs and wonders. And you know when they preach on finances, you see signs and wonders. When they preach on health, you see signs and wonders. Now they've preached on marriage. You know, we believe there'll be signs and wonders at home tonight. Amen? <laughs> um, so we're going to have some fun. Everybody can just relax, have some fun. We're going to play some music. Um, enjoy yourselves, uh, have a bit of fellowship, and then we're going to play a bit of games. So this is just the time to, to, to network, get to know each other, and, and, and maybe have like a little cell group of, of what you took from this, you know? Um, because for me, really, what I took is, you know, sometimes you get people that say, you know, you, 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 you're with your spouse for nine years, and, you know, you're a great husband, you know, because you're me, you know? Um, and, and you do one little thing, you know, all of a sudden I see your true colors. I'm like, nine years, true colors for one thing. <laughs> you know, so um, it's, it's really lovely to be amongst other couples because you, you get to understand that you are not alone, that your marriage is not strange, that your spouse is not strange, that you are not strange. You are just, you are just um, a, a godly couple going through life, you know. So, um, DJ, can you please give us some music? And... Um, just five minutes of fellowship, just, just chat, share what you got, and then we're going to play some games, and everybody's going to participate. Amen? When you get to the dance floor, you know, I promise, come on, show us, show us how it's done. Come on, baby. Woo! Woo! Where is your husband? He needs to show up here. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Let us do this. A single line this way. A single line that way. Let's, come on, guys. Do you have a wife in this room? Where is she at? Okay, please. Oh yeah, come on, join your guy. We're gonna make a two two lines, and then we will have us dancing there and passing out. Tommy, are you with me? Okay, so this right line is already full. Can somebody, if you're a couple, I like for one person this way and one person the other way. Can you do that? Yes. We need to move fast. Yes. And when is your turn to dancing? Show us what you got. Show us what you got. And if you're single, two singles can body together. Okay? Two singles can body. Are we good? Are we good? Others, you just want to be looking at us. Where's my general? General, come, let's just show them how Houston does it. <laughs> This one I'm bragging by mouth. Oh. <laughs> this is serious. General. Oh, general dance. All right. So how is it? Like this? <laughs> DJ, what are you doing? Take the microphone for me. It's about to go down. I love 
you may soulmate Get this one straight Say how you may rate No matter how them get They can take you anything Woo! Give you anything, anything, anything Pony bed Yeah Anybody, anything You want me everything, everything, everything Love me woman Come on, come on, come on, come on You do 
them say I the grace Say we can love me this They don't know how I feel Baby say something Something When we do something Something Yeah Let me hear you Oh yes Baby say Woo Something Something Yeah Baby All right Okay, DJ, we need to pause. A round of applause for the contestants who didn't know they were contesting. Well, I thought we were judging. Uh -huh. So, I like for the audience, tell us which couple or which group, because there were two single ladies, and then the rest were couples that did their thing tonight on this dance floor. I know it's a very difficult one. Unless you want me to call them back to do it again. Nah. <laughs> okay. If you were a contestant, please could you stand? Just so they can see you. Just stand up. Like I said, they didn't know they were a contestant, but they were. Because we have a gift. Okay. Please stand up where you are. Stand, stand, stand. Promise stand. Okay. So please look around the room. Which couple would you say would win? I need contestant number one, uh, you know, runner up number one, number two, and the winner. Sir, come up here, you and your wife. Some of them pointing at you. Which other couple? The one in the red? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on, we are still taking, taking. <laughs> you have no... <laughs> she said nomination is very good. Yes, <laughs> I love that. Okay, another couple. There are gonna be three. This one's awesome, 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 awesome. Come join. All right. Now, I think it's a very difficult issue to choose which one, right? Huh? Okay. Did you remember the moves they made? Huh? DJ, give me a hit. Is this good? Huh? Okay, Bosa on the dance floor. Okay? You don't have to do the same move everybody's doing. Change out something. Something creative. Something uh, unique. Do it. 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 Awesome, we've seen them, right? We don't want all the rice they ate here to finish. So, you know, so. All right, contestant number one, the winners, say yeah or nay. I'll take it again. Contestant number one, the winners. Okay. Contestant number two, the winners. Ah. Contestant number three, the winners. Okay. Now we know who the winners are, right? The couple in the middle. So thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Now, you want to show? I got Kisley. We say, uh, who sent you? Uh, please, let's not do this to them, okay? All right. You smell like this picture. They're taking a photograph. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Omuka. When was the last time you guys had a dance like this? When you went to a wedding, you bozard like this. 
Congratulations. Keep dancing. Don't stop dancing. Even though Kisley does it like a, you know, like that. Yeah. You know. But you're covering gown. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Did we find the reddest person here? Did we? Okay. If you're wearing the, the if you're wearing red, can I please see you on the other stage here? If your outfit, who knows the outfit for this event? Huh? A touch. Okay. Now, some people went a step further. They didn't do a touch. Mine is a touch. But some people did red. You know something about red? Red is love. Red is fire. Red is danger. Stay away from here. This is mine. Red is love. So if you're wearing red, can I see you on the dance floor? You're not dancing, I promise you. But we want to give you a gift. All the red people, please show up on the dance floor. Mrs. Oka, please. Mom Ruti, you are red. Please join us. Attorney, you are red. Join us. Ah, uh -uh. you don't know the color of your. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cynthia, open the red a little bit so we can see. Okay. These people got the memo. If you are not wearing anything with red on it, can I see your hands up? There is no red in, not even your hair is not red. <laughs> eh? That means you didn't get them. Your blood is red. <laughs> okay. Can you please close up a little bit? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to pick the reddest outfit. The reddest outfit. And in this contest, uh -huh, thank you, my dear beloved sister. Right. The reddest. The reddest. And in this reddest contest, the earring red, it counts. The hair red, it counts. The lipstick red, it counts. The shoe red, it counts. Are you getting what I'm saying? So these are all points. So we need to watch out. Take a good look. Are we done? Okay, judge with me. And I'm going to go one after the other. The reddest outfit in the house? No? Thank you for playing. <laughs> the reddest outfit in the house? Huh? Thank you for playing. The reddest outfit in the house? Huh? Why would you say no? This has red in it, oh, this one. The shoes is black. Okay, thank you for playing. The reddest outfit in the house? No? Ah. Her hair is somehow red though, sometimes, somehow. Okay, thank you for playing. <laughs> and her lipstick. The reddest person in the house? She's red, right? Stand, stand right there. The red, move over a little bit. We're still searching for the red. The reddest person in the house? Even though it's long sleeve, a long dress. It, it counts extra. Okay, thank you for playing. <laughs> the reddest person in the house? No. The shoe and the jacket. Thank you for playing. And nail polish. The reddest person in the house? Is it because of our jacket? You should have just removed your And the shoes. Okay, thank you for playing. Mamruti, this is a woman of God, so show a little partiality there. I mean, just close your eyes to things that are not red. You understand? By faith. The reddest person in the house? Oh, these people are not it. Well, Ruthie, thank you for playing. No. Oh, yeah? You disqualified yourself. What I'd like for you to know is her head has a tinge of red to it. So please look very well. Red, oh, she has the reddest person. All right. She is the reddest outfit of 2018. Congratulations. All right. Please get your gift. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you're a guy and you have an iPhone, 
Can I see it up? If you're a guy and you have an iPhone, please flash it. iPhone. 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 Only one person. If you're a guy, too. If you're a guy and you have Android, can you flash it? Flash. It doesn't matter if it's S9 or S2. <laughs> I said, guys, Android, flash. Could you please stand for me? Stand. They are very, very, very scared. I'm only a woman, even though general is here. I won't do you harm. Please stand, stand with your Android. Stand, stand, stand. Some people don't have Android and they don't have iPhone. Only God knows which one you have, but the Holy Spirit knows your address. I won't even say anything. Okay, please join me with your phone. Join me with your phone. Come. Brother Jim, join me with your phone. Like I said, only one person has iPhone, so the rest of the guys have Android. Uh-huh. Okay. How many, how many are we? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. DJ, better get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there are nine. Can somebody help? Ten. Somebody help me, please, with five chairs. Six, six chairs here. We're going to do a musical dance. Please, guys, don't fall. Do not fall. If your husband is here, come and give him a kiss before he starts. All right. I need more chairs, please. Pastor Ray is, is already being cheered. Oh, my goodness. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Uh, you can take mine. Somebody say, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need one more. Uh -huh. um, but we need one, two, three, four, five. Give me six. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got it. You got it. Okay, so what we're doing is musical cheers. And so please say, DJ, help us. DJ, help us. So, baby, watch me. Okay, when I give you a sign, you stop. Uh huh. Okay. If your husband is here, can you please stand up? You make sure you're cheering as he's doing this because this is a very serious assignment. This assignment is this assignment can be very risky. So you need to say, go honey, go honey, go. Okay, guys. Without touching, I don't like that music, please. Yeah, thank you. Without touching the chairs, huh? You need to just keep dancing, dancing, dancing. When the music stops, eh? You sit. If you are standing here and the music stops, that means you're disqualified. Okay? All right? Okay. So, do we have the instruction? So, we cannot hug, you know, the music is playing and you're doing like this on one spot. No, 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 no. You got to keep moving. You can't touch the chair until we say go. All right? Okay, DJ, hit me. He's already disqualified. Keep going now. Make a circle and keep going round. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep cheering your husband up. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. You know, just have fun dancing, guys. Have fun dancing. <laughs> so people are using some serious tactics in this. Uh huh. Keep going. Tell me, baby, are you done talking? Yeah, are you done talking? Tell me, baby, are you done talking? Yeah, are you done talking? Tell me, baby, are you done talking? Yeah, are you done talking? Tell me, baby, are you done talking? Yeah, I don't wanna be a player no more. Yeah, I don't wanna be a player no more. Okay, okay, okay. What damages did we do tonight? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pastor, thank you for playing, sir. Thank you for playing. Pastor Ray, thank you. Pastor Ray was just sharing.
scary. But anyway, thank you for playing. Thank you for playing, sir. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. Ha! You guys did it. Okay. Oh yeah, you guys stand up now. Stop hugging the chair. Uh huh. DJ, hit me. Ooh, one, one. Just have fun. Go, 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 in one place. Keep going. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Do you see why I told you that this could be a very serious, risky business? Thank you, sir, for playing. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we can stand up. We need to remove one chair. Wow. This is awesome. Hmm? All right. The general has a wonderful general idea. DJ, hit me, hit me, hit me. have a wife here please come and collect your husband thank you so much for playing I collect him with a big hug I say honey you did it you did it all right oh yeah I don't know how you flew from that side to that side but oh, <laughs> okay good ha. the last four contestants this is serious DJ hit us uh-huh good i like that one the secret is to keep moving <laughs> move it move it keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving if your husband is here you're not charging him god forgive you keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving somebody is standing at the field keep moving keep moving <laughs> Serious. Keep moving. Ah, 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 yes. Ah, 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 ah. If you touch the chair, you're disqualified. You're not supposed to touch the chair. Ah, 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 ah. Keep moving. Keep moving. Moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Just dance, keep dancing, keep going, keep going, keep going. You need to keep moving. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I told you this brother can fly from one side to the other. That's the way he rolls. The brother rolls off sharp. Excuse me, sir. Is your wife in the house? If you are the wife of this, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, a big hug. There you go. All right. Uh, can you please release the chair, sir? Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Okay. Wow, this last three people now. Wow. And these are the people they don't want to move. 
DJ, I like that last music. Uh -huh. Let's go. Fast, hmm? fast music. Mm -hmm. If you see that they are not moving their legs, let me know. Disqualified. <laughs> Some people are scouting the chairs. <laughs> Don't look at me, don't look at the DJ, just enjoy dancing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, 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 fast, 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 what is going on? This your dance is too much, oh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You're supposed to go forward. Backward never, forward ever. Yes, enjoy the music. I like this brother, he's enjoying the music. Yes. Yes. Go there. Uh -huh. Try right. Uh -huh. Move, 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 move. What happened? I want to know what happened. Because I could have trusted you to fly from one to the other, from Johannesburg to Houston. Huh? Do you is yes, your wife here? Okay. And you're the husband of one wife. Okay. Does this man have a wife that is in this house? Hurry up before we reassign. <laughs> she's hiding. A round of applause for her. And she's coming to collect her husband with a big, broad smile, a hug, a kiss, and everything else in between. Say, honey, you did good. Can you please say that? Mm -hmm. ah, that's all. All right. Chai. These two people, I don't know what to do. Okay. So, can we have our chair, please? Thank you very much. We thank you. I just want us to clap for them for making it to the finals. Wow, jeez, DJ, are you ready? Okay, but you know what? At the last lap, like this, somebody might fall. I don't want you to fall. Okay, is your wife here? Is your wife here? Okay, good. We have people to collect them. All right, <laughs> but you rather want it for okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh yeah, this DJ and his classic music. Oh, oh, oh. 
Before we do the victory dance, hang on one second. <laughs> Did you think you sat down before I told you to sit down? No, do you all think so? Yeah. Huh? 30 more seconds. Oh, yeah, here. 30 more seconds. <laughs> Defend your title. happened here do you think this was fair do you think this was fair huh you think this was fair huh? it was fair right does this man have a wife she doesn't want to come and collect her husband okay we need to reassign if we want us to you better come and collect your husband St Stay right here. Stand right here. Hold on one second. Do you have a wife in the house? Where is she at? Okay. All right. Men and brethren, I don't know who to give the finalist to. So at this point, it's going to be a dance-off between this couple and this couple. They got to show us what they got. All right? And then you'll help me make a decision because, you know, I don't know. They know how to dance. Uh, and don't judge yourself yet. We are the judges. Uh -huh. Let us do the judging. DJ, hit me. On this dance floor. It's a style. It's a style. Okay. Good thing she's safe. All right. We have the two finalists. And if you are honest, you know that they did a good job. So how about declaring both of them winners of the musical dance? Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations and congratulations. Please give them their gift. Give them the gift. All right. All right. Are we having fun yet? Yes. Are we having fun? Huh? Yes. Are you sure you are? Yes. Right? Okay, please. Please, please, please. They're both winners. Yes. So they can get one gift each. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. You can go back to your chair. If you're a single person here, can you join me on the dance floor? If you're single. They're not dancing. Okay? Join, join me. Join me, join me, join me. Join me if you're a single person. Joining, joining. I know it's not only two. Is it only two? Is it only these two? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> okay. Any more? Any more? 
Come on, join. Come on, join us. We're waiting. If you're afraid of dancing, you won't dance. I promise you. So come on. We're waiting. Oh, oh, Sandy doesn't like to dance. As a matter of fact, we're dancing the whole night. Ah, no. Come on, come on. So the idea is they'll partner. You mm -hmm. need to find it'll be two pairs, right? Mm -hmm. And then the one will get a word. Anybody else joining? No? Okay. The one will get a word and you need to act it out to the other person to understand what you're trying to say without saying it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's charades, but we need to see how well you communicate without <laughs> so speaking. So they can hear you. Okay, so it's, it's, it's charades. Um, and we're going to give one of the team members a word and you must act it out. Okay. So prep yourself, please, please, please. We'll give you a word. ring huh? I'm clueless I'm clueless <laughs> Okay what was the word Sandy? engagement engagement Okay thank you thank you thank you for playing guys Okay Huh You guessing, okay. Don't look my <laughs> Are we ready with the timer? Okay, let's go. This is <laughs> The time is going. Don't talk, don't talk. Ready? Dancing? Man? Woman? 
<laughs> Getting engaged? Men, woman, what? Getting married, getting engaged. Men, woman, I've got the men and the woman. Swan. Wedding, engagement, party. No. Oh. Unfortunately, you did say getting married, Neymar, it's marriage. Yes. Thank you, guys. Yes. Where's Mama May? Okay. Um, Mama May with the spunk is not here right now. <laughs> Okay, so we have done all our games and we've had a fabulous time. Have we had dessert? Okay, we've got cake that we must all still have. Yes. Is there space in there? You're going to take it home? I know. <laughs> okay, so um, I think let me just hear from Mama May what she would like us to now proceed to do. Um, okay, maybe before we, yeah, so, so we had the um, marriage mentors course and we've had people who have been interested to participate in the course for next year. Um, you can speak to Pastor Gwen. Pastor Gwen, can you please stand up? Um, you can speak to Pastor Gwen. She will help you um, register or at least um, give you the relevant information so that you can participate and partake in the in the course as well so you can be a marriage mentor and be a blessing into your community and then um, there's also some books as well available which are um, uh, for the marriage intensive workshop so there's the, um, his book and her book and these books are basically um, to help you to to help you coach or guide um, um, young couple or couples in general in whatever journey that they're that they're partaking so these books have been particularly written um to help you facilitate in your counseling so there, there's been a lot of work and a lot of uh, research done in these books so you can um they can buy these books as well pastor River. those were yeah those so if you if you've gone through the course of course um you you can buy these books use them as, as your facilitation so we we bought um a copy for his and hers and we do them for our marriage um, is a calling ministry that we are part of at church. So depending what we want to do, we make some um, copies with permission we've had. And then we, we take a lesson and we, we use them for that. <laughs> 